Motorcyclo News is brought to you by The views and opinions of the host and the guest does not reflect the show or the network. For your comments and suggestions, you may just email it to motorcyclenewsmagazine at gmail.com. Well, is your lifestyle. And this is Lifestyle on Wheels. Mga siklistas, ako si Melakino. And car siders, my name is AJ Rivera. And this is Lifestyle on Wheels. For our news and events, pag-usapan po natin ang Honda Gen S na nagaganap po sa SM Sukat. And of course, punta natin natin ang 5 million mark milestone ng Honda Philippines. And of course, meron din tayong pangyayari sa may SM Mall of Asia kung saan naganap ang Yamaha Rev Hall where they introduced their new TFX 150 motorcycle. And of course, for our bike review, let's check out the Yamaha Zero 250. Okay, so let's now talk about car side. Pumunta tayo sa Mitsupest Press Con. And then, we also went to Outer Challenge Philippines in Cavite. Yan. At para naman po sa segment ng ating Papa Titan Hawk, Nagpunta siya sa Travel Crew Search kung saan ito po ang kanyang latest offering para sa motorism. And this is Your Wheels, Your Lifestyle, Lifestyle on Wheels! For our news and events, Honda will be having its third mall event at SM City Sukat. To sustain its successful information and awareness beginning on September 23 to October 16, and they will be also launching the Honda CBR 150. Check this out. Honda Gen S. Honda Philippines Incorporated is determined to sustain its drive of constantly presenting its latest automatic and sport motorcycle offerings to the increasing Gen S among Filipino riders. With this in mind, Honda Philippines Incorporated held an event at the SM City Sukat last September 24, 2016. The opening ceremony in the afternoon of September 24 was kicked off with a motorcade of more than 100 Honda motorcycle riders and enthusiasts, and its culmination back to the mall will start the program proper. TV personality Erica Padilla hosted the opening program that was highlighted by the official unveiling of the latest sports motorcycle, the Honda CBR 150. The event was headed by HBI president himself, Mr. Taki Mihara, who discussed the features and specifications of the Honda CBR 150R and announced that enthusiasts can feast on its glory in SM City Sukhat. There will also be plenty of activities during the Honda SNCP Sogat Mall event, including the stamping card activity, a rough road draw where they will be raffling off one unit of a brand new Honda Beat ISS CBS, and even a cosplayer activity. The SNCP Sogat event reinforces, yet again, the commitment of Honda Philippines to provide only the best. The SNCP Sogat event reinforces yet again the commitment of Honda Philippines to provide only the best and most efficient AT and sports motorcycles ideal for the Gen S and the increasing flock of Filipino riders. Interested to becoming a certified Gen S? Just visit the nearest local Honda dealer and connect with Honda Philippines through its website at www.hondafield.com or visit www.hondafield.com facebook.com slash honda.ph So that was the latest happening uh, na nangyayari ngayon sa SM Sukat kung saan nagaganap ang Honda Gen S okay. So let's move on to our news and events pati pong pag-usapan pa rin natin yung Honda Philippines marks it 5 million milestone So, so check it out, pag-usapan natin ito 
Honda Philippines marks 5 million units milestone. Honda Philippines Incorporated, a manufacturer and distributor of Honda Motorcycle in the Philippines, today celebrated its milestone of the 5 million Honda Motorcycle manufactured in the country. A special edition red XRM125, the achievement of this milestone was celebrated in the ceremony at HPI factory in Tanawan City, Batangas. Mr. Toshiyuki Shimabara, the operating officer of Honda Motors Corporation Limited, in charge of motorcycle production of motorcycle operations, and Mr. Daiki Mihara, president of HPI and other Honda associates and stakeholders, attended the ceremony to share this historic moment. Currently, HPI's annual production capacity is over 500,000 units, with nine models being produced ranging from business, cub, and sports category. The 5 million production milestone brings HPI closer to its company's vision 2025, a leading Philippine company driven by Filipinos serving the joy of mobility for every Filipino family. HPI is committed to deliver products that exceed expectations of Filipino customers and strives to achieve its vision and to become the company that the Filipino society wants to exist. Honda Philippines marks 5 million units milestone. So yun po ang mga kaganapan sa Batangas, Papi. Special edition Red XRM125 ha. Ang sales po nila noong 2002 ay umabot ang 1.4 million units. Okay, yeah. yan. Ganun na pala kahaba rin ang storya ng Honda. Yes, and of course, syempre, congratulations Honda Philippines Incorporated coming from the Motorcycle News family. Still in our news and events, we uh, nagpunta tayo sa SM MOA uh, kung saan naganap ang launching ng Yamaha TFX 150. And of course, this is the Yamaha Rev Hot. Check it out. Whenever Yamaha has an event at the Rev Hall, we all know that they will be releasing a new motorcycle, and they sure did. The TFX 150, the all-new naked bike from Yamaha. The launching of their new bike and the display of other Yamaha bikes located at SM Mall of Asia Seaside Oval and the bike testing at the SM by the Bay. The event started with usual biker registration and raffle. Attendees of the event have a chance to get a Yamaha giveaway. The countdown started after lunch. People gathered around the area checking the Yamaha bikes. Media riders were called at the SM by the Bay for the first hand experience. Saturday event closed with riders testing the bike with a time to beat challenge. The event continued until Sunday. There was a special event in the afternoon. A familiar event that we have not seen for a very long time, a Moto Gymkhana. Well-known riders participated in the event. In the end, our very own Merakino bagged the first prize. After the competition, the tracks were open to the public so they can test their various Yamaha bikes on hand. Think you're brave enough to tame the beast? The Yamaha TFX 150, the fierce experience. So yun po yung latest happening sa Yamaha Revol kung saan nilaunch nila ang Yamaha TFX 150 At syempre papi, nagkaroon din sila ng Moto Gymkhana kung saan tayo po ay uh, nakisali Ayun papi, kamusta naman ang pakiramdam sa paggamit ng TFX? Well, the first time that I've used the TFX 150 is eto yung parang ipapamahagi talaga or ipapaalam talaga sa inyo ng Yamaha na itong motor na to kaya ay nilabas to because of its very comfortable handling and of course their power delivery talagang kakaiba for a 150cc motorcycle a uh, truly back for your money 136,000 ang presyo nito papi murang mura at saka yeah. okay ba yan para sa mga beginners actually napakaganda po ng handling nito motor na to kung ikaw ay underbone rider and trying to move up into a backbone or yung tinatawag natin ng bay tanke mm -hmm. I think it's the Yamaha TFX 150 the motorcycle for you Aba, okay na okay at saka nga pala sumali kay yata sa gym kanan yan yes of course and uh, dito yung open expert category kung mm -hmm. saan nakasama rin natin ang mga kapwa ko riders na talagang malulupit din pagdating sa gym kanan mm -hmm. pero syempre eh, iba na raw yung may edad at saka may experience ayan at ako nga pala papi balita ko ikaw na nalo so congratulations thank you very much papi ayan alright so magbabalik po kami wag po kayong alis ito po ah Lifestyle on Wheels
Welcome back, Sigluistas. Let's move on to our bike review. Okay, so for this week's bike review, we've tested the Yamaha Zero 250. So ito po yung sabay na lumabas together with the XTZ 125. And uh, this is called the uh, Your Roads Are Your Off-Roads. So tingnan po natin ang review natin sa Yamaha Zero 250. Check it out. Revs your heart, Yamaha. Mga Siklustas, nandito tayo ngayon sa MX Messiah Fairgrounds para sa bike review. Alright, so mga Siklustas, ang bike review naman natin sa linggong ito ay walang iba kundi ang Yamaha Zero 250cc. Ano ba ang uh, pagkakaiba nito sa mga last nireview natin motor? Well, kilala na ito sa, sa industriya ng off-road because ang unang nilabas ng Yamaha na Zero is ay 225cc na tinatawag din nilang mountain trail. Well, anong pagkakaiba niya sa previous 225 na Zero laban dito sa Zero na 250cc? Well, unang-una, ito ay naka-EFI na. And of course, sa carburation, iba na yung carburetor niya, e siya na po ay EFI. Then, as you can see, the instrument panel, it has a digitally equipped instrument panel. And of course, the headlight is uh, different than the previous one. Ito po ay medyo bilugan na. And of course, the trademark of the Zero is yung uh, handlebar niya, dito, o yung grab bar dito sa bandang uh, fender. Kung saan, pagka ginabit nyo sa trail to motor na to, at uh, medyo kailangan siyang batake, madali siyang i-handle ngayon. So of course, yung kanyang uh, fender ay sa alas same pa rin sa previous Zero 225. Which the 250 is nandito pa rin yung uh, lagayan ng gamit so hindi niyo na kailangan ng extra carrier. This one serves at, as the carrier of the Zero 250. At ang pinakamaganda ngayon na development dito sa Yamaha Zero 250 is yung kanyang rear tire. The rear tire is equipped with a tubeless rim. Kung baga, mapapansin nyo po yung rim niya, tubeless na po siya. Hindi po katulad dun dati na may interior na ginagamit. And this one is a tubeless type. And it is rubber disc or rear disc brake. Front is also a disc brake. Mapapansin natin yung engine niya is pinataas ng 25cc na displacement. So it's a hybrid 250cc and this is made in Japan. So basically this bike is Japan made. Ito yung mga nabago sa Zero which is very good because in the 250cc category, the Zero 250 stands on its own. If you need a everyday bike or if you want mountain trail bike, Yamaha Zero 250 is the best bike that I recommend for you guys. Okay, so yung additional uh, features ng Zero 250 ha, coming from Yamaha. Kung mapapansin po natin, uh, dinaan natin to sa mga uphill, sa mga downhill, and of course, yung mga malalalim na putik. The power of the Zero 250 is uh, napaka ganda ng delivery. No? So mapapansin nyo kanina, inakit natin yung medyo mataas ang bundok ng slow-mo, uh, yung medyo mabagal, then syempre binabarin natin siya. And of course, the suspension is conventional forks. Kung baga, hindi siya yung mga modelong upside-down na uh, suspension, pero nagtatrabaho siya kung ano yung kanyang purpose. The Zero 250, known as the Mountain Goat, it's a 100% pure in open enduro or enduro local enduro for the trail riders. So yan po mga siklubistas, ang karagdagan features ng Zero 250 coming from Yamaha. Okay, so si Cluistas, that's our bike review, the Yamaha Zero 250. So sa aming pagbabalik, hintayin po natin si Papa AJ Rivera para po sa car side. Ayan, see you.
Okay, so guys, we're back. So, ngayon pag-usapan natin ang car side. So, nagpunta tayo sa Prescon ng Mitsu Fest. That would be the first ever Mitsubishi Festival in the Philippines. So, let's watch this. Okay, so guys, good afternoon. We're here today at Lorenzo's Way dito sa Bonifacio Global City in the High Street para sa Prescon ng Mitsu Fest. So, uh, kasama natin today si Jarvin and si Miguel, the organizers. So, um, good afternoon sa inyo, guys. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. What is this event about? Well, um, Mitsu Fest Philippines is an initiative of the Lan Evo uh, Philippines Club. No, um, Together with our events company, It's Happening Events, our goal is to be able to bring together the fans and enthusiasts of all Mitsubishi cars, the people, the enthusiasts, all together, all in one event, uh, in a way to unite all the car clubs, the fans, kahit, uh, regardless if you have an old stock 80s Mitsubishi, if I have a modified you know, Evo, if I have a Lancer, Galant, even an L300, a Delica, a Space Gear, it doesn't matter. All fans of Mitsubishi and celebrate everything that is Mitsubishi. Okay, that's good. So, um, Pops, um, ano naman ang expect ng tao for Mitsubishi Fest? It's a fun, family fun day event. We have events and activities for family, for kids, so it's you can expect something different from us and something very fun. By the way, how can uh, the crowd and especially the entries contact you guys? If you're interested in the event, um, come check out www.mitsufestph.com Actually, for the entry fees, we'll be having an early bird rate um, from now until September 30, which is at 800 pesos only. From October 1 to October 15, the rate will be at 900 and October 16 onwards to the event will be regular rate tayo at 1,000, no? So, um, Pops Miguel, remind naman ulit ang viewers natin kung kailan ang event. Please check us out on October 23, 7am onwards at Makapagal Blue Bay Walk for the Mitsu Fest Philippines 2016. Okay, so guys, there you have it. Narinig nyo na kung ano ang mga surprises na makikita natin sa Mitsu Fest in this October. So my name is AJ Rivera and this is Carside. So there you have it, si Luis Nasin Carsiders. Nakita natin ngayon at napausap ang mga organizer ng Mitsu Fest Philippines. So papi, yan ang kauna-unahan sa Pilipinas. Yes, and of course I think this is the most biggest gathering of Mitsubishi cars in the Philippines. Yes. So Mitsu Fest will happen on October 23, 2016 at Blue Bay Walk in Makapagal. So ayan guys, um, punta tayo dyan, magkita-kita po tayo. So ngayon naman, pag-usapan natin ang Outdoor Challenge Philippines kung saan nagpunta tayo last week sa Noveleta Cavite. So guys, here's the highlights. Okay, so car siders, nandito tayo ngayon sa Noveleta Cavite para sa Outdoor Challenge Philippines. So paano? Tara, tignan natin kung ano laman ito. Running on their third year, Outdoor Challenge Philippines is the only 4x4 off-road race accredited by the Automobile Association of the Philippines. Registration was absolutely free. It was a very hot Sunday morning in Noveleta when yours truly arrived at the venue. Over a hundred off-road rigs simultaneously arrived at the venue. One by one, they parked their cars in the mud as they prepared to register and compete. At about 11 a.m., the first race began. Rigs for different stages were already queued at the different tracks for their specific brackets. High noon came and the races kept on going. No lunch breaks for our distinguished organizers. Yours truly, as well as their host for the event, May Villaruel, witnessed every race that transpired from then on. Most races happened at the track 1 or the production class category, while some went in for the modified category and some went for the pro class. The most exciting part was the head-to-head -head battle and the race for the overall championship. About 30 trophies were given which simply distinguishes the best of the best. And the final race was held. An hour later, the awarding started at the bar across the venue. The event began with passion and that's what kept event going. Friendly organizers, friendly competitors, and friendly spectators. It was one event no one should have missed. The next leg will be on December 10 and 11 at Southwoods in Laguna. Please do check them out to see another discipline in motorsports that should be highlighted. 
Okay, so ngayon naman guys, nakita natin kung anong pangyayari dyan sa Other Challenge Philippines. Nangyari sa Noveleta Cavite. So papi, nakita naman natin, medyo mainit ang araw na yan at pasampasa pa rin ang mga tao. Well, alam mo, pagdating off-road, talaga sarili na tayo dyan eh. No? Mm-hmm. So nagkakaroon tayo ng mga off-road riding, mga motocross, mm-hmm. and... Uh, Trail riding. Kaya gusto gusto kayo mga off-road yan. Oo, pero sa susunod na leg nila, magkita-kita rin tayo. At hopefully, ang, ang Outer Challenge magkaroon na rin para sa mga bikes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kita tayo sa susunod na leg nila. Good afternoon, Siklista. Ako nga pala si Tyrano. And welcome to a brand new segment called Motorism. Ngayong hapong ito, samahan niyo ako at ipapakilala ko sa inyo ang bagong mga kasama natin dito sa episode na to. Sila ang tinatawag na Ride Along Motorcycle Tours. Halika, samahan niyo ako. Good afternoon, si Kwisa. Ako nga pala si Tyron Hawk. And welcome to our brand new episode called Motorism. Ngayong hapong ito, Pag-uusapan natin ang mundo ng turismo. Siguro marahil nagtataka kayo kung bakit napakaraming motor at naglalaki ang mga motor dito sa likod ko. Alam nyo ba, gagamitin natin to sa buong season nito. At ipapakilala ko sa inyo ang people behind Wide Along Motorcycle Tours. Tara, samahan nyo ako! Kasama ko ang people behind Wide Along Motorcycle Tours Si Pat, si Borge, at si Ratsky. So Pat, pwede mo bang explain sa amin at explain sa ating mga televiewers ano ba ang motorism? It's a mashup of two words, no? yung uh, motor mm-hmm. at yung tourism. Focus tayo sa two wheels. We go into the destinations, we look at the accommodations, the attractions, the activities, the amenities, and tinitingnan natin yung friendliness ng isang destinasyon o lugar sa lahat ng mga nagmumotor na nagpa-follow sa atin sa show na ito. Wow! So, yung pala ang pinagsimula ng ating uh, motorism at syempre kasama ng Ride Along Motorcycle Tours, bigyan naman natin sila ng konting history. Sino ba ang Ride Along Motorcycle Tours? Ride Along Motorcycle Tours. So, naisip namin since na biyahe ng biyahe, why not share yung mga lugar or destinations na napupuntahan namin and the enjoyment of ride while riding the motorcycle. Wow! So, ito pala yung mangyayari sa ating season, no? Kasama ang Ride Along Motorcycle Tours. And I'm pretty sure, malayo ang mga pupuntahan natin mga destinasyon. Tama ba mga brothers? Malayo, brothers? malayo. Pag-usapan naman natin ang preparation. Diba? Usually, marami ako nakikita eh, nagsusot ang mga best, ganyan-ganyan. So, Sir Burch, baka pwede mo naman kaming uh, kwentuhan. Ano ba ang mga preparation? Ang unang-una nating kailangan mm-hmm. is i-check yung uh, motor na gagamitin natin at least one week before the ride. Sumunod, safety gears natin, at meron tayong pwedeng gamitin shin guards, riding vest, of course, helmets. And then, yung lugar na pupuntahan natin, at least meron tayong background or mag-search tayo kung ano yung dapat nating hintuan. Yun. So, ano ba yung mga expect ng ating mga televiewers? Ano ba yung mga ginagamit ating mga bikes dito? Meron tayong magagamit na from 400cc up to 1700cc na Japanese bikes, American bikes, and Indian bikes. Wow! So, talagang very exciting itong mangyayari, no? mga si Chloe Star. So, Sir Pat, uh, baka pwede mo naman kami bigyan ng uh, brief na history na kung ano ba yung mga destinasyon na pwede natin puntaan. Well, Buong show na ito, ang mga pupuntahan natin. Bukas nga, may alis kami. Oo, oh, may alis! Uh, pumunta tayo ng Naga, that's it, Camarines Sur. And uh, siguro gagawa rin tayo ng mga urban uh, night rides within the metro. Wow! So, kung sa mga destination, ano po ba yung ini-expect ng ating mga televiewers na makikita dito sa ating motorism? Well, makikita nyo yung paano namin si-share yung mga pinagahandaan namin. Mm-hmm. Yung mga gandang hotel. Alam mo, yung mga nagmumotor, alam nyo ito eh. Ang selfie natin, hindi doon sa mga kung saan saan lugar. Pero exactly, tama yung mga yan. markings ng kilang kilometrahe, saan tayo pupunta, mm-hmm. saan masarap kumain, saan mura. Mga information na maganda para pag sila rin pupunta sa mga lugar na ito, makakakuha sila ng information sa atin sa show na ito. 
Siyempre, kanong yun naman natin si Forge? Eh, Papa Forge, eh, alam po, mahilig tayo pareho, no, kumain. <laughs> eh, ano ba yung makikita ng ating mga televiewers pagdating naman, pagdating naman sa konsepto ng uh, food? Sa konsepto ng food, usually kasi, ang riders kumakain yan. Gas, sa gasoline station ni Marks. Mm-hmm. Meron din tayong madadaan ng mga karinderias na merong malaking parking lots. Safe naman yung mga motor natin habang kumakain tayo. At syempre, kita natin yung mga motor natin. So at syempre, para sa ating uh, next uh, episode, pag-usapan naman natin, punting teaser lang. Saan ba tayo pupunta? Pupunta tayo sa lugar kung saan ako lumaki, no? Uh, Naga City. Wow. Naga City is in Camarines Sur. Kape Fiesta lang. This last September, natapos ng, ng Peña Francia Fiesta. Mm-hmm. At uh, alam ko, maraming marami sa mga riders. Punta ng punta ng Naga, ng Bicol, ng Legazi, ng Matlog. So mga si Kiusta, aabangan nyo sa susunod na ligo. So pupuntahan natin at i-feature natin ang Naga City. Kung saan meron mga pinakamasarap na pagkain, pinakamasarap na destinasyon, at kung ano-ano pa. And very lucky mga si Kiusta. Kasama natin ang Ride Along Motorcycle Tours. Magkita-kita tayo sa susunod na linggo. Dito lang sa Motorism. So there you have it, si Cluista. I'm pretty sure excited na kayo na makita ang iba't ibang destination dito sa Pilipinas. Ngayon din ako. So, samahan niyo ako sa mga darating na episode dito lang sa PTB4. So mga si Cluista, huwag niyo pong kakalimutan. Pumunta lang po kayo sa aming Facebook page at sa aming website upang mapanood niyo ang kompletong detalye about the Shell Advance Bike Fair 2016 at ang ginanap na KRCP Road Rally Challenge. So, mga siklimista, nakita-kita tayo sa susunod. Ito si Titan Hawk sa Lifestyle on Wheels. At muli mga siklimista, Central Siders, natapos na naman ang kalating oras ng ating pag-uusap tungkol sa mga two wheels and four wheels. And of course, wag natin kalimutan ang ating mga sponsors. And of course, I'd like to thank at this point, Motobuy Philippines. Let's check out www.motobuy.com.ph And syempre, ang long reach for our consumer products. Also, I'd like to thank Kit Vision for our action cam. And of course, Canon for our cameras. And of course, pasalamatan po natin ang official motorcycle of Motorcycle News, ang TVS Motorcycles. Ayan, so for your comments and suggestions, email us at motorcyclonewsmagazine at gmail.com And for our website, please do check it at www.motorcyclonews.com And please don't forget to check out our Facebook page, Carside by Motorcyclo News. And check out also our FB page at Motorcyclo News Bag. At syempre, huwag natin kakalimutan ang ating show, catches every Sunday at 3.30pm on PTV4. So muli mga sikwistas, ito si Mel Aquino. And my name is AJ Rivera. And this is Your Wheels, Your Lifestyle, Lifestyle on Wheels. Pabalik kami. Tama ba yun? Pagpabalik agad? Tama ba yun? Pero, pero, pero putuli na yun? So, very happy mga si Tuisa. Abangan nyo yan sa so, next week's... Next week's... Next week's... <laughs> This is your lifestyle. The real... The real... The real... The Motorcyclo News is brought to you by